I'm Anil Kumar and here is a challenge question for pre-calculus students. We need to solve the equation square root of 1 minus square root of 1 minus x equals to x where x belongs to complex numbers. Now to solve radical equations we need to square both sides and then proceed. So let's re re rewrite the equation which is 1 minus square root of 1 minus x equals to x. Now if I square both sides I'll get 1 minus square root of 1 minus x equals to x squared. Now we can isolate square root terms. We'll get 1 minus x squared equals to square root of 1 minus x and again let us square both sides to get rid of this radical sign. So that is to say 1 minus x squared whole square equals to square root of 1 minus x whole square or I can write square here correct so let me expand this 1 minus 2x square plus x square whole square which is x to the power of 4 equals to 1 minus x let's bring the terms together and rearrange so we get x to the power of 4 minus 2x square plus x 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so we get x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus x equals to 0. Now in this equation we can always factor x. So if you factor x you get x cubed minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Clearly there is one solution which is x equals to 0. right? Now let us try to find other solutions also. So the equations which equation which we have now is x times x cubed minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0 that means x is equals to 0 that is indeed one solution which we can get from the given factor. Now to find other solution we can apply the remainder theorem we have a cubic equation here. Now let's try the terms you will see that p of 1 if I substitute 1 in this equation which is x cubed minus 2x plus 1 I get what? I get 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 plus 1 which is 0. That means x minus 1 is a factor. Correct? So we know one of the factors is x minus 1. We can now divide by x minus 1 and get other factors. So we have x cubed so we are trying to factor the cubic equation. Now x square term is missing. So we will write 0x square minus 2x. Good to write with plus sign. Plus 1. And we will divide by x minus 1 since p of 1 is 0. Right? So we can, it goes x square times x cubed minus x square. And when you take away it becomes x square minus 2x. So we'll times it with x, so we get x square minus x. When you take away, you get minus x plus 1, so minus 1 times gives you minus x plus 1, which is 0. So as expected, we get x minus 1 as one of the factors, and we're left with x square plus 1 minus 1, correct? So I'm just writing this equation here as x times x minus 1 times x square plus x minus 1 equals to 0, right? So that is from this part. So let me write this as 2. So we have substituted 2 in 1 to get 3. Okay. Now to find other roots, we could actually use quadratic formula, right? And find other roots. So we have x square minus 1. So let me use a different thing. So we'll use quadratic formula to solve for x square plus x minus 1. Now in this case x is equals to minus of b which is minus 1 plus minus b square which is 1 minus 4ac. So 4 times a is 1, c is minus 1, right? Divided by 2 times a which is 1 and that gives us minus 1 plus minus square root of minus minus becomes positive 1 plus 4 is 5 divided by 2. So these are the other roots, correct? So, so we get a couple of answers. 
one is x equals to zero, the other one is x equals to one, and here we get two roots, which are these two roots, correct? Now, based on what we have done so far, we can write down our solution, and that is x is equals to zero or one or minus one plus minus square root five over two. So we indeed have four real roots as solution for the given equation, right? I'd like you to go through this video once again, try to understand how we have found the answers. I've not really explained you many parts since uh, you are an expert by now, right? So I'd like you to review if you need to uh, of parts whichever you have uh, kind of difficulty to understand. For example, the quadratic formula here and then factoring technique and the remainder theorem. We will provide you links with these so that you can look into those videos to get more details about similar questions. Anyway, I hope that helps you to understand how to solve such radical equations. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.